All right, Ty, thank you. Well, you know, most of you have some type of insurance on your home, or maybe you have renter's insurance, but when is the last time you actually checked your policy? Do you know what you have covered? Well, Amy and Nate Edmonds with the Edmonds Agency are here with us this morning with a few reminders for you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, so what Good are morning. some things that homeowners need to keep in mind? Um, so when it comes to the homeowner's insurance mm -hmm. policy, there's a lot of different coverages. So a lot of people think that it's a one size fits all. Mm -hmm. I want in a homeowner's insurance, let me sign the contract, but it's so much more than that. So there's optional coverages that you have to actually add on to the policy, such as sewer and drain mm -hmm. backup coverage, earthquake coverage. So it's really important that whenever you're looking for insurance, the first thing that you do is sit down with the insurance agent, meet them because it's mm -hmm. about the fit, right? You have to have a good fit with your agent. And then also go through and you select what coverages you need to have. And then the insurance agent's role is to help you to understand what they are so you know what you're selecting. Yeah. So. Flooding has been, of course, one of the big things that we've been oh. dealing with from the spring and summer, and, and a lot of people didn't have flood insurance, yeah. right. and that's a problem. So the, sit down with them and say, I need flood insurance, and make sure you have it in your policy. Correct. Absolutely, and, and another thing on that, too, yeah. is I get a lot of times where um, clients will ask, you know, is, is flooding covered on my right. homeowner's insurance? And it's not. It's a completely separate policy. So you've got flood insurance that's mm -hmm. a standalone policy and not actually on your homeowner's insurance. So it's important to... Um, discuss that and actually get that that different policy. What are some right. other optional uh, things, items that you can put in your policy? A big one is sewer backup. That was the problem back in the spring. We had both flooding and sewer yes. backup. Yeah. Sewer backup is generally more on policies, but is optional. You have to select it, especially finished basements and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. You got to have that coverage yeah. to rebuild everything after the basement floods. So How yeah. is inflation really quickly affecting insurance rates? Absolutely. So yeah. it, inflation's really, uh, this year's uh, difficult in the insurance industry mm -hmm. and inflation. Um, it has impacted labor costs, um, rebuild costs for homes, materials. Absolutely. And so anytime that you do upgrade your basement, for example, you need to call the insurance company. Um, God forbid there's a tornado or right. something. You need to make sure that you have enough money to rebuild your home. So that is definitely, you'll see it on, on your insurance review this year. Absolutely. Uh, Very yeah. good. Amy, Nate, Edmonds, thank you so much for coming in this morning, braving the the roadways be careful on yes. your way home right yeah <laughs> all right ty we'll send it back over to you thank you